friends, what is up? My name is Katherine Steele, and today we've got some breaking Broadway news. On May 15th, 2020, we learned that the Tony Award broadcast would be replaced this year by a sing-along version of the film Grease, a headline that I fully believed was from The Onion. So I'm gonna break down this story into two parts. Why aren't we getting the Tony Awards this year, and why Grease? If you're new here and you love Broadway, hit subscribe to join the musical theater internet cult. Don't worry about it. Just do it. Question of the day, what do you wish the Tony Awards looked like this year? A filmed at home special celebration? A re-airing of a previous year's Tony telecast? You vibing with Grease? Let me know in the comments down below. So why aren't we getting a Tony Awards broadcast this year? That answer is twofold. Part one, many of the shows that would have been serious award contenders didn't even get a chance to open. The pandemic forced Broadway to shut down before several heavy hitters were able to officially open, therefore making their shows ineligible eligible for nomination. Additionally, according to Variety, April is a really big month for Tony Award voters and the nomination committee to see new shows. So even for the shows that did open in time, there's a good chance that they haven't been properly adjudicated yet. Oh, something that I wanted to clear up because I see a lot of confusion surrounding this. The Tony Awards are only for shows that opened in that current Broadway season. So shows that are currently running on Broadway, but they might be longer running, like Phantom of the Opera or even something like Dear Evan Hansen or Hamilton, they are not eligible for for this year's Tony Award, only for the year that they opened. Of course, revivals are eligible for nominations, but that is because they are a new production that has hit Broadway. I hope that clears that up. And here's part two on why we're not getting a telecast this year. The Tony Awards celebrate this year's accomplishments on Broadway, but it's also a marketing tool. It's basically a big commercial for the new Broadway season. But since performances are suspended at least until September 6th, it doesn't really make sense to advertise for something you can't sell right now. Something else worth noting, the Tony Awards are really expensive. Now, I don't have any insider knowledge, but for a loose look, let's go ahead and take a look at the Tony Award performance Kickstarter for the Broadway revival of Spring Awakening. They set and reached the goal of $200,000 in order to perform on the broadcast. Granted, if I remember everything correctly, there were some additional expenses that were unique to that production, but with so many shows facing financial hardships at this time, it doesn't really make sense to do a broadcast. So at this point, you might be thinking, that sucks, but it makes sense. Um, but why Grease? If you're thinking that, you're not alone. There are so many Broadway stars, producers, musicians, writers, fans, flooding Twitter, just absolutely horrified that we're getting Grease. So something that I wanna clarify because I have seen it all over Twitter and Instagram, this decision was not made by the Tony Awards or by the American Theater Wing Association or by the Broadway League. This choice was made by CBS. Most likely this is being done in an effort to boost ratings. Say what you want about Grease, but it's a beloved American classic that appeals to non-theater people. I also got a lot of questions from you guys asking why not just air the pro shot of Hamilton or even Grease Live. The short answer, rights. Grease Live was produced by Fox, Hamilton is owned by Disney, this broadcast is being done on CBS. According to The Hollywood Reporter, last year's Tony Award broadcast hit an all-time low. They only averaged 5.46 million viewers, which was 14% lower than the previous year, which had previously held the record for the lowest amount of viewers. Same number for 2017 and 2012 as well. Now, I was previously working on a video theorizing what this year's Tony Awards might look like, I mean, prior to Grease Gate happening. Again, according to Variety, I'll link all the articles down below if you want to read more. It seems that CBS was not interested in doing a stay at home or socially distant Tony Awards. The thinking probably being that if this huge expensive telecast they do every year can't yield the number of viewers they want, how the heck would a stay at home special do better? My thoughts on the whole thing? From a business perspective, I get why CBS did what they did, but I am so insanely sad. The Tony Awards have always been such a special, important important tradition to this community. Personally, to me, the Tony Awards have always been a way to feel connected to this thing I love. When you're just a little kid on the other side of the country getting bullied for loving show tunes, the Tony Awards is a lifeline. For that one special night, you get to feel like you're part of a community that usually feels so far away and unattainable. Like, I remember bursting into tears during Neil Patrick Harris's opening number when he said we were that kid because I had never felt so seen. Am I getting emotional 
over an award ceremony? Yes, yes I am. Because the Tony Awards are a, a gateway into a lifelong love of theater and making the arts accessible. Personally, I'm hoping for one of two things. There has been a lot of noise being made on the internet. A lot of celebrities are not thrilled with CBS's decision. So who knows, maybe we'll get something different. Maybe if enough pressure is put on them, something will change. Or maybe Broadway.com or Playbill can put together some sort of socially distant celebration for this year's Broadway season. Anyway, I wanna hear your thoughts on this whole situation in the comments down below. If you liked this video or if you want more Broadway news bulletins, give this one a big thumbs up. Also, if you're new here, hit subscribe. Join the musical theater internet cult. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.